Welcome to the tutorial on Conditional Styles. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a node style, change node style manually to the user defined style, create user conditional style, create a map conditional style, and apply the conditional style automatically. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS and Freeplane 1.7.10. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Freeplane interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have saved the input map named as styles.mm on the desktop. Let us open the map in free plane. We will learn to make user defined node styles. This map has four activity nodes and three MCQ nodes. Let's change all the activity nodes to a predefined format. For this purpose, let's custom create a user style. Click on Format, Manage Styles. From the sub menu, select New Style. From selection option. An input text box opens. In this tutorial, several windows and dialog boxes will be opened. Learner must follow the sequence and choose the correct ones. In the text box, for enter new style name, type activity 1. Click on the OK button to create a new style name. Go to Format and Apply Style section. Notice the newly created Activity 1 node style in the sub menu. Let's define properties for this node style. Click on Format, Manage Styles and Edit Styles. Styles Free Plane. Style editing window opens. This window has two panels. Notice the activity one node under user defined styles. Let's select it. Let's change the properties in the node style section from the right panel. Click on the rectangle next to background. The background color window opens. From the swatch tab, choose red color and click on the OK button. Click on the rectangle next to text to change the text color. Again, from the swatch tab, choose blue color and click on the OK button. Notice the changes taking effect in the Activity 1 node. Next, go to the Node Shapes section. From the node shape drop down, select the wide hexagon option. The activity 1 node is now seen with a wide hexagon shape. Let's save this style change. Click on the green tick sign or in File OK to save and quit this window. Let's choose the Eclipse node and change to the user defined style. Click on Format Apply Style and choose Activity 1 style from the menu. Hover the mouse over another node to move the selected node. Notice the blue color text, red background and wide hexagon shape on Eclipse. Only one style can be applied to a node in manual selection. Let's learn about map conditional styles. Map conditional styles are used to bring simplicity and uniformity. 
more than one style can be applied to a node in the conditional style format. This free plane web page shows examples on applying multiple styles on the node. Learner can practice this part using the examples given in the website. Now I will demonstrate how to create a map style. Click on Format, Manage Style. From the submenu, select Manage Conditional Styles for Node. The Manage Conditional Styles window opens. It is an empty window. Click on New button to add a new condition. Then click on the Edit button to set conditions. A Filter Composer window opens. In the window, we can see three pull-downs on the top. Click on the top left pull-down. From the many choices in the first pull-down, I will choose Core Text. Click and open the top middle pull-down. Here, one can set the condition for the style. I will set the condition as contains. Let's set the core text for the node as activity. So, in the top right most form, type activity. We also have a choice to match case. Now, I will not check the box for match case. To add the condition, click on funnel plus sign on the right panel. It gets added in the form. Click on it to select the condition on the form. Notice that more options in the right panel become available. Hover on the icons to show the tooltip to learn about their function. Click on the icon for set name to set a name for this new condition. It is the third icon from the bottom on the right side. An input form Enter new condition name appears. It prompts the user to enter a condition. Type activity new in the form and click on the OK button. Notice that this change is reflected in the form. Click on the OK button in the filter composer window. Click on the OK button in the manage conditional styles for node dialog box. Next, click on Format, Manage Styles, Manage Conditional Styles for Map. Click on New button to add a new condition. Then, click on the Edit button to set conditions. A Filter Composer window opens. From the many choices in the first pull-down, I will choose Core Text. I will set the condition as contains. In the top right most form, core text for the node as activity. Click on funnel plus sign on the right panel. It gets added in the form. Click on it to select the condition on the form. Click on the icon for set name to set a name for this new condition. Type activity new in the form and click on the OK button. Notice that this change is reflected in the form. Click on the OK button. Notice that the node condition activity new is seen in the list. From the style pull down, select activity 1 and click on OK. Since the node contains the text activity, the style is automatically set. Learner may pause the video and explore more if desired. Press Ctrl S to save the map. Click on File, Quit, Free Plane to quit Free Plane. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we created a node style changed node style manually to the user defined style, 
created user conditional style created a map conditional style and applied the conditional style automatically for assignment activity please do the following create user defined node styles and map conditional styles of your choice for the styles you may change font color and size node shape and background color this video summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it the spoken tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates for more details please write to us please post your timed queries in this forum spoken tutorial project is funded by nme ict mhrd government of india this is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.